Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fixer Med. Welcome back to my high yield genetics review series for the USMLE Step 1 NBME CBSE and NBME CAS examinations. This will be part 10 of my multi-part video series covering the entire discipline of genetics in a comprehensive but high yield manner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on today's content. Today I'm mainly going to be discussing pharmacogenetics, so let's go ahead and open up with drug metabolism variability. Drug metabolism variability refers to the differences in how individuals met metabolize medications due to genetic, environmental, and physiological factors. Factors in influencing metabolism include genetic variants and physiological factors. For genetic variants, genetic polymorphisms in drug metabolizing enzymes such as cytochrome P450 CYP enzymes can affect drug metabolism rates. Physiological factors include age, gender, liver function, and concomitant medications that can influence drug metabolism. Some clinical implications of drug metabolism include variability in drug metabolism that can result in differences in drug efficacy, toxicity, and adverse reactions among the individuals. Pharmacogenomic testing can identify genetic variants associated with altered drug metabolism to guide personalized treatment approaches. Moving on. Next, we're gonna be talking about individual drug responses. Individual drug responses refer to the varied responses that individuals may exhibit to pharmacotherapy, including differences in drug efficacy, toxicity, and side effects. Factors influencing responses include genetic and environmental factors. Genetic factors, genetic variations can affect drug targets, metabolism, transporters, and receptors, leading to individualized responses. Environmental factors like diet, lifestyle, concomitant medications, and comorbidities can influence drug responses. Some clinical implications of individual drug responses include understanding the individual drug responses for optimizing treatment outcomes and minimizing adverse effects. Pharmacogenomic testing can help predict individual responses to medications and inform personalized prescribing, prescribing practices to improve therapeutic efficacy and safety. Let's go ahead and move on and answer some questions. We have a 65 year old patient with hypertension that is prescribed a beta blocker, drug X for blood pressure management. Despite adherence to treatment, the patient experiences persistent hypertension and complaints of fatigue and dizziness. Which of the following factors is most likely contributing to the patient's individualized drug response? All right, I think I gave you guys enough time here. If you need more time, please feel free to pause the video. Otherwise, moving on now. Genetic polymorphisms affect drug receptors, which can significantly indivi influence individual drug responses to medications like beta blockers. Variations in genes encoding drug receptors can alter drug binding affinity, efficacy, and downstream physiological effects, leading to variability in treatment response. In this scenario, the patient's symptoms of persistent hypertension and fatigue may result from genetic factors influencing beta blocker receptor interactions, contributing to suboptimal drug response. Therefore, the correct answer is C, genetic polymorphisms affecting drug receptors. Let's see why the incorrect answer choices are incorrect. Age-related decline in liver function. While age-related changes in liver function can impact drug metabolism, the patient symptoms are more suggestive of inadequate drug response rather than impaired drug metabolism. Gender differences in drug metabolism. These may affect drug clearance rates, but they are less likely to account for the patient-specific symptoms of persistent hypertension and fatigue. Drug-drug interactions with concurrent medications. While these can influence drug responses, there is no indication of concurrent medications contributing to the patient's symptoms in this scenario. Lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise. These can impact overall health in response to treatment, but they are less likely to explain the patient's specific symptoms of persistent hypertension and fatigue in the context of beta blocker therapy. Let's go ahead and move on. So we have another question. We have a 40-year-old patient with depression that is prescribed an antidepressant drug Y for symptom management. After several weeks of treatment, the patient reports minimal improvement in depressive symptoms and complaints of bothersome side effects. Which of the following factors is most likely contributing to the variability in this patient's drug metabolism?
All right, I think I gave you guys enough time here. If you need more time, please feel free to pause the video. Otherwise, moving on now. Genetic polymorphisms in drug metabolizing enzymes such as cytochrome P450, CYP enzymes can significantly impact drug metabolism rates and contribute to variability in individual responses to medications. Variations in these enzymes can lead to altered drug clearance affecting both drug efficacy and the risk of adverse effects in the context of the patient's minimal improvement in depressive symptoms and bothersome side effects with antidepressant therapy. Genetic polymorphisms in drug metabolizing enzymes are the most likely contributing factor to variability in drug metabolism. Therefore, the correct answer is C, genetic polymorphisms in drug metabolizing enzymes. Let's see why the incorrect answer choices are incorrect. Recent dietary changes affecting drug absorption, while these are less likely to have significantly impact drug metabolism, which occur primarily in the liver. So they can influence drug absorption, but they don't affect drug metabolism. Concomitant use of over-the-counter herbal supplements. Herbal supplements may interact with medications and affect drug metabolism, but they're not the primary factor contributing to variability in drug metabolism in this scenario. Age-related decline in renal function. Age-related decline in renal function primarily affects drug excretion rather than metabolism, making it less likely to explain the patient's variability in drug metabolism. Psychological stress impacting drug distribution. Psychological stress may affect drug distribution and metabolism through changes in physiological processes, but is less likely to be the primary factor contributing to variability in drug metabolism compared to genetic polymorphisms and drug metabolizing enzymes. That will do it all for today's video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to list them in the comment section below. If not, would appreciate it if you guys would leave a like and potentially subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If not, this is Fixer Med signing off. Be sure to have a great day, everyone, and good luck studying.